Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today we are going to use these to make four magical potions from The Witcher. But first, this. Alright, so let's get into it. Now, Geralt of Rivia is a witcher, a cunning sorcerer, a merciless assassin, and a cold-blooded killer. His sole purpose? To destroy the monsters that plague the world. But not everything monstrous looking is evil, and not everything fair is good. And in every fairy tale, there is a grain of truth. These are the words on the back of the first book of the Witcher series, The Last Wish by Andrzej Sapkowski. Now, Andrzej Sapkowski is a Polish fantasy writer. He studied economics at the University of Lodz, and he was working as a senior sales rep for a foreign trade company. Now, he wrote his first short story, The Witcher, or Wedgman, and I apologize for my Polish, which also translates to either as The Hexer or Spellmaker. And he did this on a whim to enter a contest by Polish science fiction and fantasy magazine, Fantasica. And he won third prize, and The Witcher was published by Fantasica in 1986. It was an instant hit, and I apologize for that. I'll put the spelling up there. Now, this collection of short stories introduces us to the phenomenon that is The Witcher, totaling six novels, two short stories, three video games, and a Netflix original series. Geralt of Rivia is a monster hunter trained for this since childhood. He lives in a morally ambiguous universe, but manages to maintain his own personal code of ethics. Now, Geralt has captured our imagination with his strength, his knowledge of the arcane, and his indomitable spirit, not to mention the potions that he uses to enhance his abilities. So let's make a few of those today. And the first one we are going to make today is the Enhanced Blizzard. And you use this in the game whenever you slay an enemy. This allows for time to slow down for a short period. So the first thing we need is some vodka. Now, the game calls for a Dwarven Spear, so we're gonna use Gdansky Spiritus here. So this is a 75% alcohol, which would be fitting for Dwarven Spirits. Okay, so we need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils of this high-powered vodka. We also need a quarter of an ounce or approximately seven and a half milliliters of a blue carousel liqueur. And that's here. Okay, now we need a dash of lemon juice. And interestingly enough, I squeezed my lemons in advance just for this. And I did this so that you wouldn't have to watch me squeeze it for potion, for potion, for potion. So I'll use a bar spoon for that, okay? And you can tell it's fresh because there's just one seed sitting right there, okay? Now we need to shake this with a little bit of ice. That's really loud today. And you know what? It looks pretty. And we're going to put this in our very first potion bottle. And we'll string this here. And this is Blizzard. Gotta make sure the magic stays sealed. Okay, so I'm gonna give my uh, mixing glass a, uh, a bit of a rinse. Now, you'll find it a lot of bars that they do this. They, uh, they're not necessarily gonna rinse it, but they're gonna use a little spritzer that will rinse out the glass so that they can continue to use the same shaker time after time after time. Okay. The next one we are going to work with is called Cat. Now this grants us sight in total darkness. 
And what we need for this one is we need a half an ounce of rum. And I'm going to use lamb's rum. And about a half an ounce of rum is 15 milliliters. Now the next thing we need is a melon liqueur and we need a quarter of an ounce and you know I just did the exact I just made a mistake I only put half and 15 I'm using a half ounce measure and I did half of it for the rum can you believe that I must be in a rush or something actually you know what it is I am in a rush because I really want to watch this series. So I need an extra 15, except extra half ounce. Sorry, an extra quarter of an ounce to give me a total of a half an ounce of rum. Okay. Now for this, we need half an ounce of lemon juice. And we need a quarter of an ounce of simple syrup. And don't worry. I will put the recipe up so that you can see exactly what it's supposed to be. And we need a little bit more ice. Ooh, we'll give this a bit of a shake. Get our next little potion bottle and here we have this is called cat I need this for driving around at night so I hope this works out really good because otherwise that way I can drink a whole bunch of those actually no I'm just joking. Never drink and drive. It's really bad. Bad form. I'd never do it. People get hurt that way. Give this another bit of a rinse. Okay, the next one is White Rafford's Concoction. And this one would immediately restore a large potion of your vitality, which is, you know, pretty important when you're fighting, right? So for this, we need my mixing glass. I need, of course, one ounce of my high test vodka, because remember, we're using Dwarven Spirits here. And this is my one ounce. So one ounce is equal to 30 milliliters. The next thing you need is half an ounce of Kahlua. Hmm, this seems very, very similar to a black Russian. But what we have to do is we gotta Give this a bit of a shake with some ice. And we're gonna to top it with a little bit of cola. So give this a bit more ice. Give this a shake. We will Drain this in. However, we need our third little bottle here. This is important. Okay, and this really is just a little bit too much. Huh. This one actually worked really good. Because what we're supposed to do now is top this with a little bit of cola. 
And what you saw there is just a classic sign of what happens with the dilation when you shake and everything works correctly, which is based on your total surface area that uh, you use, right? Based on surface area, based on how fast it melts, on how fast the ice breaks inside. So there's a, a number of, of factors, but this is White Rafford's concoction. It's not very white, let's be honest, right? Okay, and the last one, I don't need cold and I don't need to shake it. But what I do need to do is I need to heat the glass. So, I'm gonna pour some hot water in the glass as we talk, and I'm gonna pour some around the glass. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm just scorching the glass for just a little bit. And the important part of this is because this next concoction that we're making is called white honey. And this clears toxicity and cancels all active potion effects. So you go back to being normal, of course, right? And it's not like uh, Geralt ever actually wants to be normal. He does um, because he's a monster hunter and everybody looks at him funny because he is what he is. So put that there, bang, just dry my glass a little bit because don't want to adjust it. So the glass is warm and what we need, first of all, is a teaspoon of honey. Okay, so we're gonna take some honey and my honey has begun crystallizing because I haven't been using it, I obviously haven't been using a whole lot of it. And I'll put that there. And we need at this point also one ounce of a whiskey. And today I'm using Buffalo Trace whiskey. Right. So one ounce is equal to 30 mils. And it appears that the heating of my glass didn't work as well as I wanted it to. So I'm just going to give this a bit of a, a stir. So this is going to be very, very sweet. Okay. And the other thing that we need with this is a dash of lemon juice. Okay, so now that that's starting to be incorporated and it's getting nice and sickly and honey looking, right? That's quite, it's quite the, uh, the, what do you call it? Quite the concoction we're looking at. We need a dash of lemon juice, just to give it a bit of sour, okay? But we're not done. We have to use the magical ingredient. We are going to stir this with a cinnamon stick, okay? Now, ideally, you can do this over a pot and you can make this in a larger batch, and this would actually be a really, really, really uh, nice drink. In fact, I might turn it into a, a bigger cocktail. But what we do need to do here is use your strainer. Never mind. Doesn't matter. And we're going to pour it in such a way that the excess sugar stays. Out of the bottle. Okay. Look at this. So now we have three potions. And I've made a mess. So let's clear all this up so we can take a look and see how they all taste. Okay. Now, the white honey you're supposed to drink while it's still warm. So we're gonna drink through all of these ones. The first one is the blizzard. Oh, that's got a kick. And definitely Dwarven Spirits, or 75% vodka. Um, you can use a regular vodka, right? But I'm just trying to make it a little bit closer to what the game says. Now I have the cat. I'm gonna be able to walk around tonight because we have a snowstorm happening and be able to actually see outside. Oh, that one's really good actually, oh, mm. The next one, White Rafford's Concoction. Pretty good, 
pretty good. Mmm. I'm going to be noticing this tomorrow. Actually, I'll be noticing this in about an hour. Now we have white honey. It smells good. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, the bourbon really came through on that one. That's a good choice of bourbon. Mmm. You can use whiskey or whatever choice of uh, bourbon you want. I chose the Buffalo Trace and I seem to have lost the bottle. Yay. Um, this is the first I've had to drink tonight, so... Uh, damn, those are good. You know what? I'm going to leave the uh, descriptions of how to make each of these with the ingredients list directly in my description down below. I'm going to put a recipe card at the end of this as well. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button that way and the bell notification that way every time you uh, I post a new video, you'll get notif notifications in the little bell at the top corner. But if this is the first time you've been... All right. Okay, these potions have done it to me. Wow. Um, where was I? If you didn't like this video and you didn't find it entertaining, or informative or just enjoyable hit the thumbs down button twice and we'll see you next time